Hi Virgo, this is my channel Psychic Love Tarot. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, I do tarot readings for all the signs all the time. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Right now, I'm going to do a reading for a general reading for Virgo people that what you should expect in October 2021 overall, whether it's your love life, whether it's your work life or any other area of your life. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out um, three cards from this tarot deck. First card will be first 10 days of October. Second card will be middle 10 days of October. And third card will be last 10 days of October. And if you're interested in buying a personal reading with me, I do these readings on video call Skype. So if you're interested in buying a reading, you can just add me on Skype and we'll take you from there. My Skype ID is written on the screen right now and it's also in the description of this video. So let's start shuffling, Virgo. Okay. Messages for Virgo, October 2021. Messages for Virgo, October 2021. Messages for Virgo, October 2021. Messages for Virgo, first 10 days of October. Messages for Virgo, first 10 days of October. Messages for Virgo, middle 10 days of October. Messages for Virgo, middle 10 days of October. Messages for Virgo, last 10 days of October. Messages for Virgo, last 10 days of October. Okay, uh, so your first card for the first 10 days is Ace of Pentacles. So there is going to be a very good opportunity for you, Virgo, in the first 10 days of uh, October. Something very promising, something very strong, something very solid is going to start practically in the beginning of October. For some of you, it can be a new job. For some of you, it can be a new business. Some of you, it can be a new relationship also or something. Starting, very positive, very affirming. Ace of Pentacles is a very nice, very strong, very practical energy. So the beginning of October is a very good beginning for you. It's actually beginning of something. For lots of you, it's going to be about work. Okay, why Ace of Pentacles? Why Ace of Pentacles? Why Ace of Pentacles? Okay. Devil. So I guess uh, you were stuck in some kind of situation and I think you're going to come out of that situation. You're going to come out of darkness. You're going to come out of some toxic or some uh, like you you were like uh, uh, feeling stuck. You were feeling anxiety. You were feeling claustrophobic in some situation. And you're going to come out of that situation. And with a very positive, very productive energy, you're going to start something uh, good. And... Uh, Maybe you will get an opportunity to come out of this um, situation, uh, some situation. And for some of you, uh, it can be starting a new love also with this Ace of Cups in the background. For, again, for some of you, these are general readings. You have to keep that in mind. For some of you, it's going to be about a beginning in work. For some of you, it can be a beginning of a relationship or a situation in love. So overall, whatever it is, this is a very good start for the month of October for you and you're going to be happy about it. In the middle 10 days, we have eight of pentacles. So the middle part of the month is going to be very busy for you. You're going to be working hard on something and uh, you're going to be busy, busy and busy. Uh, lot, most of you will be totally into their work and uh, their job or their business or whatever they do. 
But even if you don't work, even then you're not going to be just lying down. You're going to be doing things. You're going to be working a lot. And of course, you're going to be feeling very positive about it. Some of you will be uh, improving their skills on something. Uh, yeah, improving skills and uh, maybe learning something for some of you. But mostly you're going to be very busy in your work. Why Eight of Pentacles? Why Eight of Pentacles? Why Eight of Pentacles? Okay. <laughs> Again, Ace of Cups. The second time. So, yeah, I think something is going to happen in your love life because... The cards are insisting and this Ace of Cups is dying to come out again and again. So maybe for lots of you, there is going to be some new good beginning in you. So I have to say it because these are general readings. So I usually don't say that, okay, this is surely going to be about love uh, because we don't know it. these are general readings. But with this Ace of Cups coming out two times, so I have to say that something is going to go very good in your love life and there is going to be some action, some positive action in your love life uh, in the month of October. Uh, yeah, because uh, the, the last 10 days of October, we have Knight of Cups. So yeah, the, the last part is definitely about love. And uh, you're going to have options. Some of you will have options in love. Some of you will have um, maybe uh, your existing relationship getting very romantic, uh, which was actually, which went bad before. It can be like that also. Uh, or a new person can come in for some of you. Uh, but overall, for lots of you, it's going to be about love. But if it's not about love for everybody, of course, it cannot be uh, about love for everybody. Because everybody uh, is like, I don't know, too many people. So uh, it it's also an offer. So if it's not about love for you, then there is going to be some kind of very attractive offer maybe of a job, maybe of a business, maybe of some work. So it can be about uh, some very nice opportunity coming towards you. So for some of you, it can be a work opportunity also. Okay. Why Knight of Cups? Why Knight of Cups? Why Knight of Cups? Okay, justice. So you are also going to make a very firm decision in the last part of uh, October. Uh, maybe something in your life is not very balanced. You feel that. Or maybe you wanted to take a decision and you are not taking that decision because of lots of reasons. But I guess uh, in the last part of October, you're going to take the decision. And that decision is going to be a firm decision, like you not backing out of that decision. For some of you, it can be a decision about cutting somebody out of your life or cutting ties with somebody. For some of you, not for everybody, of course. Uh, but this decision is a decision from the heart of like you'll feel that okay this is what what's fair so I should do this or I should decide this and I think you have been thinking about this decision before also with this four of swords in the background so maybe you uh, put a hold on uh, that decision before. Uh, 
like you had to take this decision and then there was a break uh, and you thought that okay this is not this is not the right time to take this decision and i should wait some a little bit more and uh, i think now you're going to take that decision so of course it can be a decision about anything it, again it's a general reading uh, but i think it's a very productive and busy month for you it's an important month for you virgo things are happening here uh, there is action here things are coming towards you mostly positive and um, uh, i think it's a good happening month for you and i think you're going to get lots of clarity in this month so please hit the button like if you like the video and give me a thumbs up you can subscribe to my channel if you like what i do and thank you so much for watching the video stay blessed always